Welcome to my channel, Not Delusion. My name is Nicole. On this channel, we focus on all things narcissism. Please help to share this information about narcissism so others are not continuously harmed, abused, and confused. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. In this video, we're going to talk today about the boring narcissist. Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs is one of the best known theories in motivation and psychology. It is represented by a pyramid of needs with the most basic needs at the bottom and more complex needs at the top. Air, food, drink, shelter, clothing, warmth, sex, and sleep are the physical needs. Next is safety needs. The narcissists are always treading water and cannot meet their own basic needs and or basic safety level of Maslow's hierarchy. They especially have problems meeting their own emotional and psychological needs. The narcissist is very low vibration. They are stuck and floundering around at the physiological level. In other words, physical level and or basic safety level of Maslow's hierarchy. This is a damaged person that is always in defense mode. Everything is perceived as a threat. Especially fragile and broken is their self-esteem. Often, narcissists are damaged psychologically from a childhood of neglect and or starvation, becoming deprivation, money, or food focused. They typically also have an insecure attachment style where they are afraid of relationships or they are very emotionally detached or very emotionally needy, usually lunging back and forth between the two, pulling you back and forth until you're dizzy. It is very dull to be so basic, but the narcissist is having such difficulty with these basic matters they don't have any interest in anything else. There are no attempts at actualization. Don't even waste your time thinking that this will ever happen with narcissists. Being that they are, that they are quite confused and bewildered and overwhelmed, they will never even consider the idea. Thoughts of self-improvement is foreign to the narcissist, and any such talk is routinely dismissed. In fact, much of what you say is routinely dismissed as nonsense. I don't know any narcissists that have any real hobbies nor interests. They do not even have a favorite song or something that gives their life any joy or meaning. Their favorite song of the moment is the one that is playing on the radio because they think it is expressing how sad you will be when they leave you. What gives them joy or meaning is when you behave according to their wishes, like when you cook something that their mother used to make. Narcissists are only pretending to be a soccer player back in their school days or make some half attempts to play the guitar to make themselves appear interesting. Narcissists are interested only in thinking about themselves and thinking about what they are not getting and thinking about how to make you unhappy so they don't feel left out. Narcissists are very petty 
and think about a lot of trivial items. I recall I was at a restaurant with a narcissist relative. We let the waitress know what we wanted, and for an extra charge, they had add-ons like $150 for sauce or onions, etc. After I had picked this person up from the airport, and she insists that we go here, which is a new place, rather than go to a favorite that we had, which was well known and popular. Personally, I would rather not take a chance with new restaurants when I already know a place that serves really good what we wanted to eat. But the controlling narcissist relative wanted to be a backseat driver and insisted that we go to this new place. The narcissist proceeded to argue with me in front of the waitress. Wait, we only need one because we could split it. The narcissist insisted to argue the situation with me and the waitress standing there waiting to go with our orders. My response that it doesn't matter, it did not suffice. The narcissist wanted to debate the add-ons point by point. It really didn't matter to me. The only thing was that this was very cringy behavior. The narcissist takes a lot of pride in these petty, trivial matters and would not let it drop nor roll off. I usually do my best to ignore these trivial issues and the narcissist always loves to do them. The same person another time drove me to the supermarket so I could buy a couple of quarts of cream because I was making a chia seed recipe. At the time, the narcissist announced that she had to pee, so I told her to drop me off at the supermarket and I walked back carrying several quarts of cream, almond soy, that type of thing. So these are the actions that the narcissist spins their wheels thinking about to place themselves in a one-up position. As I said, narcissists are extremely boring. The covert narcissist is especially annoying, petty, and trivial. Always trying their hardest to force a petty situation that could easily be remedied. The petty narcissist is always making a molehill into a mountain to control the scenario and make themselves important. Think about that. Why the heck would anyone even bother unless they were completely boring? It is annoying like a gnat flying around. Surprisingly, these people are smart enough to tuck themselves around people that are nice and polite. These narcissists are not so stupid as to do these type of behaviors with someone that will give them a backhand slap. These types need to be kept out of your inner circles and out of your homes. Their insidiousness will perpetuate and continue to fester as the narcissist attempts to control the entire situation and all of the people. It seems to be a reach when you first notice these types of idiotic behaviors and pettiness that you want to just ignore and hope that it will go away, much of it hardly seems worth a waste of any energy. But in fact, these behaviors never go away. The narcissist will never change. They will just do the same thing over and over, hoping to be successful next time. I know the narcissist relative is trying to get more food, get more money, get more influence, get more status and more control inside my family dynamics. If you want to understand narcissistic relationships and the narcissistic family dynamics, be sure to subscribe to my channel and thank you for listening. Please comment, like, share and subscribe.